guys, welcome back. My name is Veroy from The Real Collective and today we have a beautiful four bedroom ground floor unit with patio that you guys want to stay and check out. So let's go. Hey. 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 Oh, I think because COVID, uh, they shut it down. But let's go. Residents at Boathouse Residences get to enjoy the great conveniences of nearby amenities and superb connectivity of expressways and public transport. Hougang Mall and Riverville Plaza is just a 4 to 5 minutes drive away and in about 2 years time, Wangkok Integrated Hub with a mall, a community club and its very own bus interchange is going to benefit residents of this area. This location also enjoys quick access to KPE and TPE and that means you would save time going back and forth town and other parts of Singapore as compared to those at West Sengkang. So the best place to understand this development is of course from the pool but be before we do that right, let's take a look at the myriad of facilities that this place has to offer. This development was completed in 2015 developed by the renowned Fraser Properties. Inspired by Aokang and Upper Serangoon's rich legacy of the bustling Old Kangka Port, Boathouse Residences features facilities around this river boat theme. There is a river team playground, a boat ship gymnasium and a boathouse lounge floating on the 50 meter lap pool, a meandering river rafting pool, a boat shed spa and the river pavilion with outdoor dining and a spa pool. Alright, so Boathouse Residences right, offer you guys a collection of 1-2 to two bedroom Soho units, 2-4 to four bedroom units as well as uh, penthouses and dual key units. Now the one that we're going to check out today is a rare 4 bedroom unit, so let's check it out, let's go! With the new norm triggered by COVID, the lifestyle of Singaporeans has evolved tremendously and open spaces and great condo facilities have never been so important to us until now. Therefore, you will appreciate the space that we are going to show you. Okay you guys, so welcome to this 4 bedroom with a patio unit and this is possibly one of the largest unit that you can get in Boathouse Residences itself 1,733 square feet or 161 square meter and in fact there's only two of such layout in the entire Boathouse Residences making this a really desirable unit Okay, so from the onset, right, you are being greeted by this dry kitchen area where you have a countertop, some nice bar counter lights and this works very nicely for a breakfast counter and uh, I think the entire vibe of this house has a modest warm theme which I think is really a very ideal type of colour theme because it suits most of the uh, buyers out there. Okay, you also have uh, some storage right below here, your fridge is actually outside this area is also very very good right if you guys are like to host parties, buffets, all your food can be laid out here nicely. Okay now to this very very generous living and dining area. Okay so this is what I call a portrait layout. So what's a portrait layout? It's a way where the living area and the dining area is stacked on top of one another. So in that sense you actually get to enjoy the TV from this area at the living room as well as on the dining room itself, you get this equal distribution and with the dry counter behind, right, this whole space really interacts nice and uh, it just makes that whole place look very fun and, and very entertaining if you know what I mean. Okay, um, right back over here, right, uh, what the owner has done up, this is actually stucco wall. Okay, stucco wall basically is a kind of paste that you apply and then uh, being hand created to create this uh, brick look-alike type of feel. Okay, so the entire space has a very uh, well thought out design as well. And of course, right next to us, we have a very generous uh, patio area. Shall we take a look outside? Let's go. Okay, so this beautiful patio area gives a very idyllic style of living, right? Uh, with all the lush greeneries and stuff like that. So this patio area actually extends from here all the way to here, man. Check this out. The whole space is connected. And at the same time, you even have a side gate here to unlock and go into the main pool area. Guys, take a look at this space, my goodness. Very, very nice and green and serene. And in fact, right, you're being shielded with all these greeneries, right, giving you a lot of privacy. Of course, for those of you who prefer, um, you know, like your place to be enclosed and stuff, right, this area, actually, you can put in, uh, what, some zip tracks and closing the entire area, then this whole space will be even larger for your usage and comfort. So now back into the very, very nice and cosy living dining area. Now guys, have you noticed something? There's a lot of vibes in this house. Eh? Check out the ceiling. 
I love the way the owner has done up the ceiling design. It's very unique, but yet the whole design works well. And guys, if you get this house, you get to enjoy this Haiku fan imported from US. And of course, why do I know it? Because I also have one at my house now, right? It's really a nice fan, guys. Very sleek, very beautiful. It, it works well, basically. Okay, so uh, we have over here, of course, a TV console. And uh, the design-wise, we have light trenches and, of course, a sleek, clean lines uh, highlighting the entire modernistic vibe. And uh, with a TV console, of course, cable management is really done well. Uh, I think that's what's really nice about this place, right? Is that everything is very neat and tidy and everything is tucked well, nicely, right? It's very seamless. So, um, yeah, I think this is really good. I love it. And uh, shall we take a look right now at the kitchen area? Of course, here we have um, a glass door with a wooden frame uh, for practical reasons separating your dry and your wet kitchen itself. Come, let's take a look. Okay, so we are here at the wet kitchen area and uh, first thing you can see, the colour team is consistent with the colour theme that you have in the living and dining area which is overall warm with wood tones and uh, over here you have ample cooking counter space okay you can do a prep work a nice uh, large sink and then you can also have an espresso uh, our microwave ovens and stuff like that over here of course right behind you have a tucked away corner for your washer and dryer for your white goods basically to be over there and in addition you also have a helper's bathroom and right next to you have, you have a proper not home shelter, not bomb shelter, a proper helper's room or if you don't have a helper like this owner yeah I know they don't have a helper and it's so clean you can use it as a storage alright and this door allows you to make this into a great yard area to dry your laundry park your bikes or even have your little personal orchard if you are into greens perfect hey guys come 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 I have an idea for you guys the space right behind you right is perfect for you guys to do dry swimming all right because it's away from all the bedrooms and it is away from the bedrooms it's also away from your neighbors bedrooms and of course all the talk about bedrooms shall we take a look at the bedrooms right now let's go come okay actually this area right i didn't mention just now if you guys want to have more storage of course you can level this up you know do a nice feature display cabinet as well no problem and of course uh, for a four bedder usually for a larger family right you need a lot of storage so right over here on my right hand side you have about a foot depth of additional storage where you can probably put books and stuff like that okay come let's move in and take a look wow look at the ceiling you have this um this kind of fitted lights on the fall ceiling that gives a kind of um, starry starry night kind of feel and over here oh this is the clutter room all right this is where we put all the clutter away of course uh, like i said four bedders usually you have more stuff you have young children, uh, you know, you have maybe you have pets, you know, this is where we keep all the clutter. That's why the entire house looks so amazing. Come. Our first bedroom, wow. Good space, guys. Um, you have a two-door wardrobe, okay, uh, side tables, and this is also a queen-size bed. And you also have TV console for cable management, and right outside you have a lot of privacy with the lush greeneries itself. And if you check out um, the, with the curtain areas, right, the entire house, uh, you have curtain palmets as well, hiding away the curtain tracks. So it gives that whole place a very seamless vibe, which I've mentioned many times. Of course, uh, ceiling fans as well done up for you. And you also have your light boxes for your down lights. Okay, so let's check out the rest of the bedrooms together. Check out the bathrooms. Wow, this is possibly one of the most immaculate bathrooms I've ever seen in my career actually I mean and the condition is almost like newly T.O.P you know this is really really meticulous and even the floors are so shiny there's no scratches and the reflection is just you know wow, mind blown boom now it's time for our boy and our girl's room come let's take a look wow this is the Super Mario theme room guys wow I wish I had a room like that when I was young oh my goodness so you can actually fit in two single size beds uh, so you guys can, uh, the kids can co-sleep together, you know, and I think it's really good if your brother and sisters grow up together, then they'll be very close, ma, right? And, uh, you know, they've used this wall to create some of their favourite, um, this is what, comic characters, right? Super Mario. And uh, right on top, this ceiling design is really nice as well. You can see that the LED lights, right, they are changing slowly in terms of the colour. Uh, it's supposed to mimic that effect of stars, and that big circle is like the moon, the sun, then you have the Mars, uh, you know, things like that, Pluto and things like that. Uh, my, my science is 
okay, okay, only lah. Okay, but anyway, the space wise is really, really good. You can fit up to a king size bed if you really want to, or two single beds side by side. No problem at all, okay? And now, shall we check out the master bedroom? Come, let's go. Welcome to the master bedroom, you guys. Yes, come. I really like the way the owner has done up this master bedroom here. Come, let's check out the space together first, all right? So you have a fitted in bed, right, with carpentry and two side tables. Uh, this is, of course, a king size bed. And you have, of course, a TV console once again. Um, so you can't see all the wires, so cable management solid again right then you have a uh, couple lights one for the lady one for the man and of course you can toggle your light switches not from the wall right not from the wall because sometimes if you want it to look very seamless and well designed then you don't want to see all these switches on the wall right so it's on your tv uh, no it's on your side table nicely tucked away then uh, at night you know before you guys sleep you don't have to walk through and argue hey who should off the light before we sleep ah no you can just do it over here okay at the backdrop we have over here this is not a wallpaper Okay, which is, um, you know, some people may not prefer wallpaper, but this is actually stucco wall, just like what we have in the dining area as well. So once again, the, the concept of lines is being repeated over here. I think the entire bedroom has a very soft finish, okay? Okay, so from here, you guys can see you have a full height uh, mirror itself, and this is not just practical for you guys to adjust and then do some outfit changing. This is also very practical because from here, ah, from here, right, the angle, you can actually see the children's bedroom. So at night, you know, if you hear some stirring and stuff, you don't have to wake up straight away to go and check. You can just lie at the comfort of your bed and then check on your kids. Perfect, right? And of course, for those of you who prefer some uh, daddy and mommy time, okay, uh, anyway, if you prefer that, right, then you can actually easily reinstate this wall. No problem at all, you know, um, everything is quite well thought out. And just now I show you guys the common bathroom, right? And if you think the common bathroom is immaculate, right? Check out this master ensuite. My goodness! We have double vanity and this looks like it's just built, you know? Welcome to the newly TOP boathouse residences. So this is the common... <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come, get, have a look. Wow! Really, really immaculately taken care of. Pristine is the word. This is where you can use the word pristine. So if you like what you are seeing, you know who to call. Contact Veroy from The Real Collective. Real people, real estate, real results, and we will see you soon.